Hello guys, in the previous video of how I made my RC landing gear, I was told to show how I installed my landing gear on my RC airplane and the electronic components inside my RC airplane. So in this video, I am going to show you how I installed my landing gear and how I installed my electronic components inside my RC airplane. So let's see how it goes. Now I'm going to explain how the connection of my RC airplane goes, the electronic components and everything. This is a 1000 kV motor and a 9 by 9 by 4 inches prop. It is connected to a 30 amp ESC and it is connected to the main receiver. This is a FlySky 6 channel receiver and this is my radio, my transmitter. So I'm going to show you how the connection goes. The BEC circuit wire from the ESC goes into the channel 3 in the main receiver. This is 1, 2, 3. So you have your positive, negative, and um, yeah, signal, positive, and negative. So this is your elevator. Elevator goes into channel 1. Your early one goes into channel 3. That's my servo is in the main wing. And the rudder goes into channel 4. So you power you power up your main receiver with a lipo battery of 11.1 volts, 2000 ma. The battery is not here, so I cannot bring out the battery right now. Then we use a 4 channel transmitter to transmit your throat to rudder eleven elevator so thank you for watching okay guys here is how i installed my landing gear to my rc airplane this is the homemade landing gear that i built in my previous video you are going to see how i made this landing gear and i'm going to show you how i installed the landing gear first thing you do is place the landing gear on the landing frame and before that, in the first edge, you can see an L and an H shape landing gear. That is the frame I used for the landing gear mount. So let's go. So this is my tail landing gear. I had a few problems with this landing gear because this rod here is too short. If I have had it longer, it would have worked for my rudder. So in case if you'll be making your own, please try to make this rod long, long enough to reach your rudder. So if I'll be installing this, all you have to do is make sure you drill a hole through here. There has to be a balsa, a wood frame here, then drill a hole to it. So you glue the plastic into the hole, then so it's going to be something like, I don't want to force this, but I just want to show you how it's going to look like. So it's going to look something like this. You can see this melter here. So if it's long enough, all you have to do is glue it to the foam why you have reinforced the foam with wood so to make sure the frame doesn't break so you glue it then you glue the straw into the wood as a the frame then it it tilts along with the rudder to steer thank you very much for watching that video if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment my video see you in the next video